Is that an egg? <gasps> well... <laughs> it went like up his nose! Bro, that's gross. I'm missing the point, you know? He was obviously meaning to do that, but what did he expect? That it would just like, well, I guess he expected it to be like, and then maybe that thing exploded. That egg was like, not today, sir, not today. Put your hand on your head like that. Okay. Ball spots, I call you gone. Huh? Hair grow? <laughs> Hair grow. Hair grow. grow. Why are we doing this? <laughs> Y'all, the fact that I just participated in that. <laughs> I don't know what's more embarrassing, the video or the fact that I was like, all right, I'm gonna give this a shot, whatever it is. Was this funny? Or are we actually praying for someone's hair to grow? I'm confused. Drake! Who invited you? Oh my god, wait. Wait a second. Someone went up to Drake and said, Who invited you? Let me watch that again. <laughs> His face. Myself. Oh, he dropped the you know who I am line, which is very embarrassing if I'm being honest, because honestly, all you had to do was say, oh, I invited myself. And if he was like, oh, but like, why? Like, who are you? Then you say, oh, my name's Drake. I'm a music artist. Like, I feel like it's better to just be like, yo, my name's Drake. You know, I, I make music. That's it. That's it. I I'd like to say not everyone knows who Drake is. I feel like everyone knows who Drake is, but maybe there's a few people who don't know who Drake is, but like, you know who I am. I hate that line. I absolutely hate that line. Like, maybe I don't, Drake. I do, but I'm pretending that I'm someone who doesn't. Anyways, it's not that serious. <laughs> Live streamers are mistaken for homeless people. What? Oh. Oh, are they laughing? Oh no. Oh, are they laughing or crying? They're laughing. But why, okay, I'm not even trying to be rude. But they, they do look homeless. If they're lying outside on the cement, it looks like she has black eyes. They don't look happy. They look like they're like very upset or distraught. I might bring them food too. Oh, I'm confused. Why? I feel like maybe you should go inside and live stream. Or if you're gonna laugh this one off, then I hope you took that food and you went and gave it to someone who actually needs it. I don't know how to feel. Hey buddy, PC do you know mercenary work is really common around here and you can do you can do mercenary work for coin, dude? What are you, what are you doing, man? You can do mercenary work for coin in this area to make some extra are coin. Are you filming right now? Is this, no. is this for a video yeah. or something? That's for some, no, some you can do mercenary. You're just, you're just embarrassing yourself at this point, okay? You yeah, the, this guy just came up to me and he's just like asking can me random questions. Voice? This guy's embarrassing oh, myself! I'm embarrassing myself! I'm embarrassing myself! Oh my. You're in wow. Cool. I make, I make get hundreds out of, of dollars. Get out of my face. I make hundreds of dollars from these videos. What? Oh you my gosh. Done. Wow, okay, I hope that was fake. I hope that was actually fake and they just staged that and he was doing that and they staged it. I hope that's what that was because if that was real, you are in fact embarrassing yourself and look at what social media has done to us guys. Look at what we will literally do for views just to get a few likes on a thing. It's so cringy when you think about it. The fact that people actually get up and do stuff like this and it's just, it's part of our society now. I kind of hate it a bit. Oh God, I'd hate it. I'd hate it. Hey man. I would hate it. Good stuff. I would hate it. Whoa. What's wrong with you, man? Hey, man, chill out. No, I ain't gonna chill out. You're gonna get the out of here. Hey. Do. Yeah. I didn't. Read that. Can you read? I didn't know that, man. Can you read? I didn't know that, bro. Get the hell out of this gym. Whoa, bro. Wow. Get him out, Chill please. out. Damn.
Damn, dude, damn. I mean, my guy really was going for it. I feel like social media has got us to a point now where people think that they can do stuff like this and just get away with it for no consequences. And the second that somebody comes up to them and starts doing this, and I'm not saying that getting up in his face or like pushing him is right by any means, but the second that somebody does that, they're like, whoa, what are you doing? Like, I never did anything at all. And um, yeah, you actually did. Like you were causing an absolute scene, my guy, and like being an asshole, and this is what you get for being an so definitely not saying what my dude was definitely not saying what my guy did was right but still like just bad at the ride to themselves and make us common fuck wait when the and watch them. the line typical um, no I hate it I hate it, it. seems like forever Well, the teacups aren't even that good anyways, guys. You're not missing out on a whole lot. Teacups aren't even that good. That is what these people do though, folks. Like they're just on another multiple tiers of fame that they can just get away with stuff like that. And that's another thing too. Social media has just detached us from any sense of reality, or at least maybe not you or me, because I'm not as famous as the Kardashians. But if you're a Kardashian, you just get everything and you'll get away with everything and you can do whatever you want because you have this following, because you're so so rich. Oh my gosh, this is just, this is so entitled. Oh, <laughs> there's the SMH. Wow, look at these poor people. Look at what we're doing for views, guys. This is actually happening in real life. People are doing this in real life. They're getting up and thinking that this is fun and a good idea. Wow. Wow. I'm losing faith in the humanity, everybody. It's happening. It's happening in this video. I gotta, I, honestly, we gotta get some more like cute animal vids on this just to like counteract whatever the hell is going on here. Cheeky, cheeky chaka. I actually hate that TikTok so much. I just, I, it's so catchy and I hate the song and everything about it. Blech. Okay, all right folks, so I'm pretty sure that this is actually from, yeah, yeah. So this was, again, Canadian thing here. Wow, we're repping Canada today, guys. I do believe these people are from Quebec. It was right when COVID was major, major, like everything was locked it down. You were supposed to wear a mask, you're supposed to do that. They're on a plane right now. They took off all the masks, they started partying, they started doing everything. I don't know if people ended up catching COVID for this, but this was definitely in the news and it was just like, just stupid. It was just stupid, man. Wow. Ah, oh, please, please, can people start, can you guys comment down below, bring on the cute animal vids? I need it for my soul. Oh no. Well, we know this one. All of Toronto knows this one. You know this one, don't you, Chris? Yeah, yeah. When did this come out? This would have been like 2019 or 2020, right? Or maybe even earlier than that, like 2018. Chair girl, guys. Everyone, everyone, maybe even if you're in America, you know about this one. This was just so abhorrently, one, illegal and just dangerous. How on earth could you possibly think that this is okay? And the thing was too, she went to court for this and she didn't even care. Like she literally did not even care, man. I, I hate that literally somebody could have, multiple people could have died, you know? And just for a few views and it's not, it's not funny. It's just not even funny. What? I'll be honest guys, I don't really understand that one. Like I feel like this is going like directly over my head. So can somebody explain it to me in the comments please? Like, and we're doing the, like we got Olympic stuff going on. Like, wow, okay, uh, this is, you know what? It is early, I, I still haven't had my coffee yet. So I'm gonna blame it on that. Wait for it. I was doing a TikTok on the stairs as usual I until. I okay, well. Yeah, that's a lot, like. They really get upset on me. Yeah, cause you're straight up blocking the entire place. Like, look at what TikTok has done to us, guys. Like, 
And you know what the sad thing is? I guarantee that she probably got like a million likes or like maybe not that many, but like a lot, you know, like that definitely got a lot of views. And I mean, it's cool. Like I guarantee it was a cool shot. It was cool. Like the kid joined in and everything like that, but you're literally blocking everyone's day. It's just like, okay, I have a place to go. You're cool. Film your thing, but like maybe not here in front of everyone. Started a new gym today only to find out people don't have gym etiquette. Here I was recording my leg stretch session that for the past 15 minutes, my and God. this lady chose to squeeze between a narrow space and walk across my video, despite having a bigger space to walk through on the other side. Mind you, the space well, between me and my phone is not that wide, and it was obviously set up on a bright pink hydroflask. Um, and here comes this guy who walked around, but then chose to walk in front even though he already huh. saw me recording. Yeah, I mean, okay, lady, like, you can stretch really good, and that's really nice. But if you want to get your own private shots where there's nobody there, you need your own personal gym. Or you need to come to the gym when nobody's at the gym. This looks like the solid afternoon right now, guys. Like, you show up at 6 a.m. and you do this, guarantee that there's nobody walking through. But, like, you just don't own the public gym, you know? If this was your own private gym, all right, but I don't think it is. Okay, okay. Oh, I can't read that. I don't know what he says. <laughs> One more time and you're, well, you're probably out now. You're probably out. I like these pranks, but at the same point, at, like, I don't. Like, I like them, but I also don't like them because, yeah, they can be funny, but you're also just ruining other people's days. I think the ones that are really funny, um, and this is a guilty pleasure of mine, Jackass did this so early on, but the ones with the golfers where they go and they're at the tee, they're about to drive, and then they air horn, and they just get so angry because their whole shot is ruined. It's rude, but I don't know. That just seems better to me in the library like you're not even doing anything here bro this better be your home this had better be your home tell me this was your home no 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 that's just theft that has to be her home it has to be that's literally just theft if it's not. That's not even entitlement, it's just illegal. <laughs> it's just illegal TikTokers being bad. Just stop that. Look at those cute cookies, they bought them. Maybe they have a kid. Maybe that was gonna be their kid's cute cookies and you just stole them because you're entitled and rude and again, illegal. Whoever, whoever gathered this content and put this clip in is my hero. People hate James Corden so much. Yeah, I don't know how this works because, you know, it seems like everyone's like weirdly on board with it, I feel like, when they do this um, crosswalk musical or whatever it's called. But like, if that was me, although it would be like cool to see celebrities dancing in the street, this is probably in LA where like, it's probably just normal to see celebrities all the time. Probably stands where this would probably just be annoying where there's just a bunch of people dancing in your way when you wanna make a right turn. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. It seemed, it's like nice and fun and it's good vibes, but also, is it inconveniencing me? Maybe. Part five of ordering all I our hate food this. at once. It's so annoying. Hi, can I get a buffalo ranch sandwich, a medium Hawaiian punch, it's so annoying. and home side. Cardamom and ranch and bayou buffalo sauce on the side, please. And then a Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper slaps. Okay, I'm playing the game. Excuse me? So, one person talk, please? 
Yeah, yeah, I got you, I got you. So I want the uh, a 12 piece cow home style mech. It's only funny the first time. That's it, that's it. It's only funny the first time. Especially when somebody says, I'm not playing these games. Cause clearly that person just wants to do their job. So please just let them, please just let people do their job. Don't inflict them on your jokes that they don't think are funny. Please, please. All these people taking these pictures, making traffic to take a video of the sun. Like they never see the sunset before in their life. What is this? What is this? It's so cringy. Also, like 90% of those people are taking the photo of the sun on their like iPhone 12. Oh my god! <laughs> She's going down. Okay. Okay. Hey. Hey. It's so <laughs> you can't even get a good photo of the sun on an iPhone or the moon or really anything in the sky. It just doesn't look the same. You know what I mean? Also, like, I don't know, go to a rooftop patio or something. Get out of the road. Just simply move. Unless you're a car. Beep, beep. She's getting her hair washed and they're just doing acro. Like that's, there's something about that that's really funny. <laughs> I'd be so embarrassed that I had to be at the... <laughs> and at least these people clearly like, I don't know, they seem like they're supposed to be there, but I also would just be like, man, I like to have a calm, relaxing experience when I'm at the salon, not people doing flips. Won't let them pass through as long as I'm not done yet. So he's just like, no one can walk through here until I'm done making my TikTok. I'd be like, do it somewhere inside then. Go rent a studio or do it in your house or something. You can't just block off the road to do a dance. No, thank you. I would ruin the TikTok. Do you think if I can sing loud enough, they will ask me to go on stage? No. Uh... I don't think so. I don't. I, I don't think that they'll ask you to go on stage. Even if you sang louder than the music that's playing on the speakers. I don't think they'll ask. I don't know where you are, but I'm just assuming. That's usually how that works. <laughs> what a weird TikTok to make. Like, are you painting something or are you trying to take a TikTok? Like, pick a lane. Because if you're painting something, I mean, people can also go in the same spot as you. You know what I mean? You don't own me. It's not like taking a photo. Also, if you're just taking a photo, you'd be there and out. Also, God forbid somebody wants to know what you're doing, what you're painting. Man, people are so entitled. Forgot that she owned that spot and that view for the entire time. She painted an entire painting. Like, come on, you can't take up that spot for that long. Also, a kid throwing sticks in the river. We're gonna complain about that now. I'm like, I hate entitled people. It really pisses me off. <laughs> If you want to do flash dance in the rain, I just don't know why you do it in the middle of LA where people are like trying to live their lives. Wait. <laughs> Who wants the result? I'm like, wasn't this it? I'm like, did we not? Didn't we just see it? We all watched it. We all watched a bunch of people uncomfortably walk around you. I get it. It's for the TikTok or whatever you're making, but like, it's also just really inconvenient <laughs> when it's already raining.
Was it worth it? It's my one question. Was it worth it? I highly doubt it, but I've never heard that song in my life. I think I'll, that'll tell you if it was worth it or not. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, I'm already annoyed by this one. I don't even want to watch it. Jesus Christ, I hate these. Just like, why? What is the point? Pointless. I just don't understand. People have so much time on their hands. They don't care. Like, I have so much secondhand embarrassment from watching like half of these at least. I just don't understand how people would do this. It's just crazy to me. It's crazy, but maybe I'm just not built for the influencer life. You know what I mean? So she's mad because she wanted to run up the steps at like what I'm assuming is like a tourism site. <laughs> and there will always be someone to ruin your video. I'm like, yep, that's what those people are doing there because the world revolves. That's influencers have like the worst main character syndrome. That's really what it is. They think that the world just like revolves around them. Did you base your main character on yourself? It doesn't. There will always be someone to ruin your video. Yep, that's the way it goes. Good luck. Good luck getting a good one. If you feel like somebody walking down the stairs ruined. Like the video still stands. That's the thing I don't understand. Also get a really good editor. There are people who can just remove that person. I don't know how they do it. I know it's wizardry, but like just get somebody to take that person out. You just have to pay for it. Yes, it's very rude for somebody to park next to you in what I assume is probably a parking lot. Very rude, as you try and make a video. Because <laughs> you just don't want anyone to see you making the video is the thing. You can still make the video. They're not really inconveniencing you. It's just that you don't want them to see you making the video. Uh-uh, tricky tricky. You gotta be like everyone else who just doesn't care, <laughs> apparently. Nobody cares. Listen, Major, nobody cares. Are there other cars in the drive-thru? Because if so, that's one of the most annoying things I've ever seen. If not, then I mean, I guess who are you hurting? Cause really, it's not like the person was there. They were trying to, I don't, I don't even know what the point of this was, but at least there wasn't somebody like a employee there being inconvenienced. But if there were other people in the drive-thru, this is very annoying. Well, that's not funny. That's not funny at all. You put one of these up on your store. I mean, Greg, I'm gonna do some advertising for you, bro. How many of you would buy this frame, picture frame? How many of you would buy this picture frame if it was on his GG? Oh my, that's not real, is it? What? That's not real, is it? That's not real. Oh my, that's the headphones, right? That's the headphones, oh no. right? That's the headphones, right? <laughs> oh no, sir. Sir. Yeah, that's real, man. The only time I wear headphones that go over my head is my beats when I'm in the gym. Is this real? I've seen like stories about this where people who game a lot and live stream and you know, or edit, like they wear those headphones and it can like stop hair growth or make you go bald in that area. Is this real? It sounds like it's real. Cause he's like, that's the headphones. Is that real? It's not even worth it. Put them down like this way. I would literally wear them upside down like this. So here's the headphone part my fingers here's the curve and i wear them upside down if it did that <laughs> that was a horrible demonstration but you know what i mean you know Wait, what? Oh no! 
were they talking smack about her in Japanese? And out of nowhere, she's like, bam, I knew what you said. I knew what you said. Wow, I did not see that coming, except for the massive text that's on the screen. <laughs> but like in real life, I would have never seen that coming. Hi everybody, do you have your pants on? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm very concerned. All I want right. to make sure that you're all getting your have your pants on. This is strange. But this is my daughter, and you better not be sitting there doing anything oh, you this should is be doing while you with my kid. Um did anyone else find this uncomfortable or is it just me? Um I don't know. That felt uncomfortable to me. It's a weird joke. It's a weird joke. And what kind of content does she usually make? I got questions. I got questions. I'm picking up some vibes here and I don't like it. I don't like it. That just seems like a weird joke to make between father and daughter, you know what I'm saying? But hey. No. Uh, we are so close to crossing 10 million subscribers. We are less than uh, 5,000 away at this. 4,500, 4, which is insane. 5,000. Oh no, and we're losing them at a fast rate. Oh, this is bad. The live stream is killing us. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, man. Oh, no, the live stream was really good. That's weird. Well, this is good education. Wow. Oh, no. <laughs> Why are you losing so many? Oh, no. <laughs> no. Why? <laughs> Oh my god, you guys. That's hilarious. I'm happy they're laughing about it and they're not taking it too seriously. <laughs> but like also, like kind of embarrassing because you're like, yeah, we're gonna hit it. And then it's like, mm. like they probably set up this live stream because like we're gonna hit it. And now you're not. And I wonder, it wouldn't make any sense for them to unsubscribe and resubscribe though. It's still not adding more numbers to that. It's just re-adding the ones that were there. Maybe just do it when you're like five away. Five, not five thousand. Five. Twenty-four hour live stream. <laughs> Who has the time? Oh, bye bye. Oh no! Not another one, girl. Not another one, honey. If this has happened before, have you not learned your lesson? You, you need a new system. You need new tripod. You need a new camera. Also, three. Let me just hold a hold the phone. This girl, 24 hour live stream, okay? And then I see chat picks content day. $343 out of $500. You're telling me she's making $500 from this live stream? Doing what? How do I sign up? <laughs> I'll stay awake for 24 hours and walk around live stream and just tell me how. That'd be a very boring live stream. I don't think anyone wants to see that. 